Those of you who recognize my human face will know that I am Simon Quinlack, the hobbyist who is without any doubt at all the king of all hobbies. Bow. <laughs> Those of you who do not recognize my human face, let me tell you now. I am Simon Gwynlack, the hobbyist who is without any doubt at all the king of all hobbies. Bow. <laughs> Good. What you will need for this week's hobby? A metal detector, an encyclopedia of archaeology, a flask of weak lemon drink, Yay! and a blowtorch. <laughs> Many hobbyists, like Neil Petark, like to go metal detecting, where they get a metal detector and they detect metal. Then once they have detected the metal, they look at the metal they've detected with the metal detector. The metal detecting idiots! However, my hobby is a much better hobby. This hobby is a good hobby if you enjoy walking in the countryside and have a deep-seated hatred of human civilization and all the artifacts it has left behind. This week's hobby is called Metal Desecrating. What you must do for this week's hobby. First, go to a place of historical interest. I am on the Scottish borders, on one of the purported sites of King Arthur's last battle. Now to go metal detecting, which I shall do in a satirical style, so as to mock Neil Petark. <laughs> I'm Neil Petark. I like metal detecting. I'm... Now it's time to drink your weak lemon drink. I wonder what it can be. <laughs> According to my encyclopedia of archaeology, this is the Excalibur sword, a find of enormous historical import which proves the existence of the legendary King Arthur. Now to go metal desecrating. <laughs> The fire has completely burnt the sword away, and there's no evidence that it ever existed. This hobby is a good hobby if you enjoy annoying, boring, beardy archaeologists and Tony Robinson with his smug time team face. <laughs> Destroy all evidence of past life and of man's craftsmanship. All history is bunk compared to I. Now even King Arthur will have to bow down before me like all the other idiots! <laughs> enjoy your hobbies. <laughs>